We are here at the Arena 2036, where Omrom autonomous mobile robots are connected to the Nokia 5G standalone private wireless network. And we want to learn here a little bit more from you, Sven, on how do autonomous mobile robot works? Um, how do they perform their task or how they get the job assigned? How the traffic of a fleet of mobile robots is managed? Can you share that a little bit with us? Yeah, sure, Guillaume. So um, just imagine uh, we want to bring parts from A to B. So this is the task. The task is generated by a customer system, MES, for example. Um, this task um, is provided to our uh, enterprise manager and he is controlling the whole traffic. So the enterprise manager sees what is happening and assigns the right robot for the right tasks. And that's why we need uh, perfect communication. Got it. But what happens if there is a disruption between the communication of the mobile robot and the fleet manager? So, of course, we, uh, the robot can finalize the task, but if we lose the connection, uh, we cannot assign a new task. And this is a really big problem for us. So the reliability of the network is very important for the whole performance of the fleet. Interesting. And we've heard that this is not uncommon. So it can happen when the mobile robots are transitioning from one access point to another one, or in areas where there is poor coverage, or even if there are too many devices connected to the network, or there is a high load on the network. That means that it's really important to have a reliable wireless connectivity, and I think the key word we can say, it's a predictable performance, right? Right, so predictable performance means that the network has to perform as expected. And another topic is uh, latency. Guillaume, you are the expert. Explain me latency. Yes, yeah, so latency is the time difference between a data is sent from a mobile robot to the fleet manager or vice versa. Just to summarize then, Sven, a reliable communication plays a key role on making sure that the investment of the customers on the mobile automation pays off and also eventually increase the fleet of robots. That's where very reliable network communication is needed. Yeah, exactly. That's what we need for a perfect fleet of robot robots.